So we've been making a bunch of these pinwheel structures, the pinwheel vertices, um, with tetrahedron. For a tetrahedron, we used a three-way um, vertex. This was also good in making the pinwheel cube, which has three-way vertices. Um, we used a four-way uh, pinwheel to make an octahedron and also to make the cube octahedron because they all involve four-way vertices. Well, the structure famous for involving five-way vertices is, of course, the icosahedron, 20 triangles, but more importantly, 12 vertices, all five-way with five edges coming together. So I've made 12, or I made 11. I'll make the 12th one here to show you what that looks like. Um, all of these being uh, five ways. So, and the other thing that's important, that's been important with each of these structures is the pinwheels have to rotate the same way. If you look at this, um, the way it's pointing, this one is clockwise. Its mirror image, of course, would be counterclockwise. And I want to make sure each one of these is, is like that. So, clockwise. Um, if not, it'll, uh, yeah, it won't work out quite so well. Um, so, to do that, I take the hypertile, I hold it so the top and bottom are closest to me, pointing toward me, and then I take the connector and I put it on the right side. I could put it anywhere along there, but I'll start at the top. If I had taken it and put it on the left side, that would create a counterclockwise one, which would go counter to all these. We want it to match these, so it's going to be on the right side. And I'll show you in a second what that looks like. When I put the next one on, here I'll do it the wrong way, if I make a zigzag connection, it gets in the way like that, it's not going to give me this. These are one's clockwise, the other one's counterclockwise, that doesn't work. So if you do that accidentally, turn it 90 degrees, there it is. And you see how this is already getting me something that's going to point clockwise. Okay, so there's one. We'll take a few more connectors here. We could just go stepwise down so the next one could be here. Again, make sure you're making it a spiral connection, not zigzag. Down to the next space. See how that's looking? Again, like this, not like this. You'll know you put it in the wrong way because it won't be able to fold over. Okay, and I'm using, you hear that click, I'm using a little extra firm connector, but this works with any connector. Um, finally, the last one, because I got four, I have to have one more in there. I've got one spot open here. And I'm going to put that in there. And that's good, and look, by the way, at the way it all <laughs> folds like that into like a, like a book, um, and then just pinwheels open like this. In the other pinwheel vertex structures, I added an, a last connector connect, connecting the first one to the last one, just for added stability. You can do that here if you want. Um, you're saying there's no space available, but of course there is. There's going to be enough of a gap inside there that we could put this really anywhere. I'll put it in the middle and then connect that to this one. You don't have to do that. Obviously, the connections are all there. But now, think about it, every one of these blades is connected to two other blades as opposed to having the ends being only connected to one. So that is more secure. You could do that if you want. You don't have to, okay? So, from here on out, my work is mostly done. I've got my 12 pinwheel vertices all rotating in the same direction. And now I'm just going to make them into a big structure, um, an icosahedron. And I'm going to do it, you can do it whatever you want, any color pattern you want. You're going to need two sets for this regardless, because this is taking, what, 5 times 12, 60 tiles. A standard set only comes with 40, uh, sorry, a deluxe set only comes with 48. And I'm, look what I'm doing. I've got um, 10 reds, 10 purples, 10 blues. So again, two sets. You can do whatever you want, but I'm going to have it so my blues are opposite each other. My yellows are opposite each other. I kind of like that. I'm just a sucker for that kind of thing. So... I'm going to start, um, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I don't put two yellows next to each other to begin with here. Anything works. So there we go. And the beauty of this is I don't have to worry about These will be spiral connections. There's no getting around that because I've made all these 
pinwheels spin the same way. So these will be the spiral connections I want. I, it would be impossible right now to do a zigzag. If I did a zigzag, I'd realize, oops, I made one of these vertices spinning counterclockwise when they were all supposed to be spinning clockwise. Okay, so we're just going to keep going with this and start to make triangles. So any color here, we'll put blue in here just as long as it's not one I've used just yet. The icosahedron is um, one of the five platonic solids. Right away, by the way, there, whoop, there it is. See, I only connected that in one spot. No big deal. That happens a lot with my hypertile structures. You start building and all of a sudden you have to redo a connection. Okay. The nice thing is, as I bridge these gaps, it'll help hold those into connection in, in, in place. So, in fact, I'll do that right now. I'll put one right here. Um, how about a red one? This is one of the reasons why, um, as you build, it helps to solidify what you've already put together. So, that that connection that just came apart in here probably won't anymore because that's being held in a couple different places. Okay, let's see. I can put another one here, but I don't want to make it anything I've used so far because I'm not opposite anything yet, so I'll use a purple here. I know in this video the purple and the blue look very similar, but in real life, right here, these are very different colors. Uh, just the way the video works, I guess. Okay, and ooh, look, we have spot for one more, and this is the first time I'm going to put in three connectors. I can put it one, two, three. And if you're having trouble um, building this, it's falling apart opposite where you're making it, every one of these could be two connections instead of just one. But again, I'm using extra strong connectors here, so I'm going to be able to get by with just one in there. Um, so here's the orange. That's the only color I haven't used yet. And there's my curvature coming about by the fact that uh, we have five of these pentagons like to add curvature to a, a structure. Okay, so I've got a bowl. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Um, and now to put the next ones on, I just want to put everything opposite. So here's a yellow. Opposite that, right here, I'll put another yellow. Here's where I really start to see the curvature taking place. Okay, that was two. From now on, I could be adding three everywhere. Ready? One, two, three. And what would go here? Which color? Well, I want to go opposite red, so I'll go red here. Next one's got room for three. Okay, whoops, put that in the middle spot. What's going to go here? That's purple. We'll do this purple. Okay, here, three more connectors. Oop, this needs a little shoring up. There we go. Um, I see orange over there, so in goes my orange. I'm getting down to just two left.
get a little tight here. Okay. Ooh. I get to put in for the first time four connections. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I guess you could be putting them on these instead, but uh, I'm not sure that it matters. Okay, blue, opposite blue. This, this little three-way, I don't need that anymore. That was just left over from the tetrahedron. And this is the other end of the platonic solid spectrum. We got a 20-sided structure, the icosahedron. Okay. And look what I've got now. <laughs> a pentagonal hole for the last pentagonal vertex. And there it goes. Green opposite green. And I get to put in five connectors. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. To connect to my green and close up this polyhedron. Those pinwheel, there we go. So there it is, done. And it's an icosahedron, but you might be looking at this and say, hey, that looks like a dodecahedron. I see pentagons. I see 12 pentagons. If I think of each one of these as a face, that's true. But it's hard to think of as a face when it sticks out so much. So this is actually a pentagonal pyramid that is the vertex of this um, the shape. And the faces are multicolored triangles. Okay. I'll use these coffee stirs here to show a face. There's a face. There's a face. Okay? These triangular faces. There would be 20 of them across this whole thing. But because of the way I've color-coded it, certainly what sticks out is instead that looking like it's a, a face right here. So that would be a um, dodecahedron, 12-sided. Um, and the dodecahedron and the icosahedron are very similar structures. They're very closely related. Um, but if I'm sticking with the idea of these pinwheels are my vertices that I've color-coded, then this has certainly got to be considered um, an icosahedron. Okay, now, one of the cool things we can do with this, that we can do with the other structures as well, um, the other pinwheel structures, is undo certain ones and then flip the thing around, flip it inside out. So let's try and see. I think it takes eight. We'll see. I'll break this connection. We'll do a kind of a zigzag here. This connection, this connection, start and open up. Then this one, and then this one. You keeping track of how many that is? <laughs> I'm not. Um, we'll do one more here. Okay. And then it looks like we're going to have to undo something here. Maybe something here. This is kind of unfolding into what's called a net. I don't think I can leave, whoop, I don't want to break that one if I can avoid. I don't think I can leave a single um, complete pentagon intact, um, or at least not many. Ooh, this might be it. <laughs> that was kind of trial and error, but it looked like it worked. Okay, this can be laid flat. Um, and I don't see a single ring of five around one that's still intact, okay? So there's five, but there's an open space there. There's four, two open spaces. And it's nice and symmetrical. So this is where it started. And then look at what I can do. Close it back up this way, okay? So, one, two, Three, 
four. Five, six, seven, oops, eight, nine. What did that one just break apart? So it looks like I had to undo undo un, undo nine of them before I can invert it like that. Okay. So, and a good question is, is this the same structure I had before? And I'd argue it's the same shape. It certainly is a, an icosahedron, and the pinwheels are still facing clockwise. They didn't get inverted. Flip it over, take one that faces clockwise, turn it over, it still goes clockwise. Um, but, if there was a color pattern before, this would now be the mirror image of that color pattern. So let's say around the purple, the way these are ordered does give this thing a certain direction. Now they're exactly the opposite, the way it flipped inside out. Okay?